Good day everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to create the parting lines for the car surfaces. This is this this is very useful to add re realism to your car. Adds a level of depth and looks really nice. I'll show you a few rendering images. We'll just pause that. So as you can see, um, we'll, create, we'll create the plane lines for the car surfaces. I'll, I have been experimenting with a few techniques to do this and I will show you the easiest and the most effective way to create those lines. So here's a picture without the lines. It's very bland. It's not realistic. And it's lacking in detail but once you add the the parting lines in it, there's a level of realism it just makes it look really nice um yeah that's pretty good yeah in Creo i found Creo to be very very good with working with car model uh, it's pretty it's not very complicated complicated to use there's just a number of techniques that lets you create a nice nice car model and currently I'm on this car and I'm nearly nearly finishing with this car as you can see here and I just need to finish it off and I'll create another set of tutorial on creating a car with with the best techniques and here's one in perspective view and as you can see the front looks really nice and I'm going to create the parting lines for the front of the car. Okay, let's go in Creo. Okay, let's go edit your part and we'll go straight into showing you how to create a parting line. Okay, so step one, what you need to do is draw draw a line where you want to create a parting line. So um, I'll switch to the right view and draw a line right here. Okay, so you want to drop the curves onto the surface. Okay, let me try that again. So select your curve, drop on the surface here and make sure you want to select the right view and accept that so I should create a curve on the surface I'll hide this curve, I don't need it anymore select that curve there and we're going to go to curve and offset okay so when we go offset we can offset it to what two direction we can offset in that way and also in the normal and the value to use is five. I found five millimeters is to is a really good value to create realistic part lines. And we're gonna offset the other way. And we're gonna use minus five. And accept that. And also one more offset. We're gonna go offset again, but this time switch it to normal and put a value of three and just zoom in make sure that it offsets inwards of three millimeters and now we can hide that that initial surface uh, curve we have this curve is not touching the edge of the surface what we need to do is go to convert curve when we go convert we can go into edit and edit and drag this point, move it to the end. You hold shift and it will snap onto the line, uh, the upper line. And just check that, make sure the lines are touching the edge of the surface. Okay, this one needs a bit of fixing as well, so we go convert and take it to all the way to the edge of the surface 
Okay, now we just go in, select this surface here, go trim, trim it there, stack the, the side we want to remove, except now, now we're gonna go in and create a curve. So to create a surface, a surface for for the 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 round there, we gotta create four boundary curves. And we need to make sure that the ends are tangent. So we go go to select the point and we go to surface tangent, select the surface and should create a tangent blend with the surface. And also this point here, switch it to top view. Zoom in. And make sure this curve points out. So we want to want want it to um, create like a square blend, if you know what I mean. And we just do that again on the bottom bit. To create a surface, we need to have four boundary curves. So we got three. We need to you hold shift, the curve snaps on, and we're gonna go edit. Change the tendency to surface curvature so the radi radius blends in. Go to the top view and you want to check that. We just want to make sure this one turns that way. And there you go, we have our four curves and we're ready to create a surface. So just go in. Select the four four curves again. Sometimes it's really hard to select the curves, but I'll, I'll show you that in a moment. But select the four curves, click on surface, and we'll create a surface with this line here. That means it's blended in well. So there you go. That's one side one one round there to make the other surface we have to create the whole surface again and trim out on the other side so select the four curves and click on surface accept and now we trim at the other side so there you go and we'll go in and add the, the lines on the two ends again. But one more thing, um, sometimes it's really hard to select the surface. What you can do is select the, the parts you want to work with. Right click and click on isolate. And, and it's, it is a lot easier to work now. So we can, uh, can see all the things better and it doesn't get mixed up. Yeah, it's a lot more accurate and easier to uh, you isolate the surfaces. And switch to top view. Make sure it's like a square radius. Except that. If you hold shift to snap snap the lines on and we switch the surface curvature on yeah yep and it looks fine go to the top view and just change the angle on that and now we're ready to create the round surface so select the four Curve, hold control to select more than one curves and click on surface and make sure there's a, a not a dash line it's like a complete solid line that means it's tangent so it looks like that now we right click show all right click and show all 
and everything should be showing again we go in and add material in the rendering tab and okay there you go you create the pine lines there i'll do a quick render to sh to show you how it looks here is the final rendering guys as you can see there's a black line down so basically to create the pine lines we create offset to the, to the right 5 millimeters to the left 5 millimeters and offset in the normal direction about 3 millimeters and create the rounds and round it off so that's you don't you don't really need to create a gap in it just need to just need to create the curve to join it together and oh, you can also isolate the curves and surfaces to help you with that so so that's the the current current um current stage I'm working on and I'll show you the complete model and here's the complete model of the car guys so I found Creo to be very useful very easy to use there's just a number of tools and techniques that you need to learn you can learn that quickly and create a car model I'll try another uh, number of other programs it's very complicated uh, there's a lot of tools and techniques that will take a lot of time to learn but in Creo it's pretty basic easy and fun as well so it's um, yeah, you feel really good once you um, want to figure it all out and create a final product it comes together looking 3d looking yeah 3d realistic all right that's it everybody hope you liked the video um just uh give it a like if you think this is useful and also subscribe to learn more about Creo and other things in design and technology. If you have any questions, leave a comment. That's it. Uh, see you later, everybody.